A smart and refined style called Rococo blossomed in the 18th century. The culture responsible for the Rococo style was characterized by the pursuit of personal pleasure. Though France was already an acknowledged leader of fashion during the reign of Louis XIV, the Rococo period confirmed the country's reputation. For women, the essential spirit of Rococo fashion was rooted in elegance, refinement, and decoration, but there was also an element of extravagance. In contrast to the dignified solemnity of the 17th century costume, women's dress of the 18th century was both ordinate and sophisticated. During the first chaotic revolutionary period, a dramatic change occurred in women's fashion. The chemise dress, so named because of its resemblance to the chemise undergarment, became the dominant fashion. Its simplicity stood in stark contrast to the full Rococo dresses of the preceding era. Undergarments such as the corset and pannier, which previously had been a necessity, were now abandoned. Women now preferred to wear thin, almost transparent, white cotton dresses with few or no undergarments. Although women began to enter the workplace, most designers still aimed for the ultimate beauty with a combination of elegance and opulence. Public clothing appeared beautiful, but women were uncomfortable, so at-home clothes became more popular. A man named Paul Poiret developed new clothing in 1903 that did not require corset, making the clothing more comfortable for women. Fashion in the 20th century evolved from a corseted, artificial form to a more natural shape. In 2010, clothing for both males and females became a lot more relaxed. Sweats and other loose clothing became common wear for trips to the store, but clothing in the workplace or at largely seen public places remained sophisticated. Shorter and thinner material began being used because of economic crisis, and people went along with it thinking it was the latest fashion. More skin was being shown, although there wasn't much thought about the effects to later come. On May 4, 2060, Metamaterial Fashion came out from a company called Metamix. The Metamaterial was a new concept that gains its properties from structure rather than composition. A composition of microchips make up the material in a new and unique way not thought of previously. The material allows the user to program color and or pattern. With different styles and cuts, there are many different options. Metamix signed with Apple to enable the user the option for portable fashion. Apple's new portable closet was named iFashion, as it was wirelessly connected to the electronic textiles, allowing for limitless changing possibilities. Breaking news. Hundreds of deaths have been reported within spring due to people wearing metamaterial clothing during rainfall. The material was not developed to withstand such liquid. The rain caused the individuals to endure a strong electric shock, killing them instantaneously. Since all regular clothing has been discarded for this new material, fashion designers are desperately seeking new trends. One unexpected company, Crayola, has come out with a new idea consisting of body paint said to withstand throughout the whole day, even through rainfall. This idea still allows for personal outfit design and change at the user's leisure. This body paint, entitled Draw and Wear, can withstand through the whole day, even through encounters with water. The only way to remove said paint is to use the paint remover included in the purchase, which can easily be attached to the shower head, so that when you take a shower, it easily removes the paint without hassle and not damaging your hair. People began getting sick of reapplying the body paint every day, so a tattoo parlor in Los Angeles came out with a new idea to tattoo people's clothes on. At this point, there wasn't really any option for clothing since they had destroyed it all, so the tattoo was worth the pain enduring process to fit in with the newest trend. The tattoo became their own permanent self-expression with endless possibilities. People decided that children could not get the tattoos in risk of injury and disease. So instead, McDonald's provided children with a McMagic tattoo, in which children can have safe, temporary tattoos and join the latest trend. However, due to the exchange of needles within adults, disease caught on and killed all of the people who had tattoo clothing, which happened to be all of the adults. This left the children alone in the world, and as their life proceeded, they started to wear more clothing to prevent this from happening again. And so the circle we began.